House Wolfort and the Roselle arrive at a fragile understanding through fraught and often heated negotiations. The Serenoa, wishing to avoid seeing the Roselle repatriated by force, convinces their young leader Jerome to meet the next morning for further discussion. No one has come. Tis strange indeed. We spread word that all were to meet at first light. Let us wait a moment longer. The foul weather is surely the source of their delay. Even so, I expected to find at least one person here when I arrived. I shall see for myself what keeps them. Jerome! You must help us! House Telior lays waste to the village as I speak! What? Liar! How dare you deceive us! I swear to you, this is not my doing. Come, we have to put a stop to this! <sighs> Silvio, what do you think you're doing? Helping? The Roselle left me no choice when they refused to comply. Surely they will accept their fate once they see the consequences of their defiance. This is House Wolfort's sovereign land. Cease this senseless slaughter at once! So it is. For now. But what will become of it when I inform Hyzant of your treachery? I shudder to think of how the Holy One will respond upon hearing you've cast your lot with the Roselle. Pissing down like a drunkard. Can we just kill them already? Hear that? Your time is up, Lord Serenoa. You've played the hero long enough. We shall take the Roselle by force. I trust you've spoken your piece. No, not quite. I won't see the Roselle and people forced from their homes. Let us show House Tellior how we greet invaders of the Wolfort Domain. What? Practice makes perfect.
at once. There is no mercy on the battlefield. This will serve well. For the future of House Woolfort. I will end this. on. 